Good afternoon, Samoa. It has been over three months since our first community case on the 17th of March, 2022. Our drive for full vaccination and close observation of all health care measures coordinated by the Ministry of Health and in close collaboration with the Disaster Advisory Committee, development districts and villages across Samoa is producing anticipated results as evidently shown in the decline of number of people affected by COVID-19. For this, we continue to praise and honor God for his faithfulness, mercy and grace over Samoa. The latest statistics from the Ministry of Health as envisaged show the downward trend in new infections as reported for the period 19 June to 26 June 2022. 129 people were infected our confirmed number of infected people has increased to 14,901, of which 14,776 are community cases and 125 are imported cases. Only one patient is currently monitored in the isolation ward and none in the intensive care unit. On June 20th, 2022, regrettably, a one-year-old female died from complications relating to COVID-19. She is our first baby to die from the virus, taking our cumulative number of deaths to 29. Our government once again offers its sincerest condolences to the families of the lost loved ones to COVID-19. We continue to pray for the comforting of the Holy Spirit for the affected families. A total of 153,386 COVID tests have been administered and testing are continuing at all the health centers and hospitals around the country. The booster vaccination of 12 to 17 year olds has started as well as the second booster for 18 year olds and above. Vaccinations remain our best defense against the severe complications of COVID-19. We therefore continue to encourage all those who continue to doubt vaccinations and have not done or completed their vaccinations, including a booster, to visit the nearest hospital to get vaccinated. We are close to acquiring full herd immunity for Samoa to protect our families and especially the under five-year-olds who are not yet eligible for COVID-19 vaccines. As widely reported, we will reopen our borders for international travels from 1st of August, 2022, and the Ministry of Health continues to lead the coordination of safety and health regulations for travelers to Samoa. Government continues to encourage the observation of health and all health measures as surety of the safety of our country. In this regard, Cabinet has approved the continuation of Samoa <coughs> under Alert 1, which is yellow, for the next four weeks, commencing from midnight of the 28th of June to midnight of 26th July 2022. Cabinet has also approved the following health travel advice for arriving passengers into Samoa. First, all passengers are required to wear face masks at all times. Secondly, all passengers must fill in the arrival health declaration form in flight and provide a local phone number, an email or a Facebook address. All passengers arriving into Samoa with a negative test are not required to home quarantine. All passengers arriving into Samoa are encouraged to take precautionary and preventive measures within the first few days of arrival. All passengers arriving into Samoa are to arrange and have a supervised rapid antigen test done at any health facility on day five and report results to the Ministry of Health on the email provided on the Ministry of Health Ministry of Health um, website. All passengers with a positive test after five days must home isolate for seven days from the date tested positive with a repeat test 
done on day seven. Our efforts in protecting our nation shall continue and therefore calls for the support and assistance of everyone. Most essential to our joint effort is preventing Samoa from new infections, protecting our families and loved ones. As such, we continue to pray for God's favor, guidance and protection upon our nation. We call on our people to continue respecting health measures of protections as we gradually welcome the rest of the world to our home Samoa. Finally, I wish the Honourable Prime Minister and her delegation a safe journey home. God bless and stay safe Samoa. Soifua.